All right, guys, let me make sure everything's good here. Okay, we are, let me move this around for a second. You guys know the deal. I had to get this all sorted last time. It's so strange. There we go. Okay. All right, so you guys got it. You know the deal. I'm doing another one of the video lectures here for learning styles and multiple intelligences. Um, you are not going to be... Um, necessarily writing this in your journal. Instead, let me show you, you should have one of these right here. It is called the uh, Learning Styles and Multiple Intelligence Graphic Organizer. Okay, it's on paper, so make sure you have that because you're going to want to use this to complete that. Okay, and I'm going to go through the Learning Styles and Multiple Intelligences. You will read an article that says they are separate, and they are separate, but for our purposes today, we're going to pretend that Learning styles and multiple intelligence, that word we can use interchangeably. So if I say learning styles, I mean multiple intelligences. If I say multiple intelligence, intelligences, I mean learning styles. Okay. So there's eight of them. Visual, spatial, spatial, linguistic, verbal, interpersonal, intrapersonal, logical, mathematical, musical, bodily, kinesthetic, and naturalistic. At any point going forward, pause the video to write down what you need. Okay. So you should have your graphic organizer and a pencil. All right, so verbal linguistic is our first one, okay? Our definition is that, you know, it's related to words and language. They're gonna be good at speaking in front of people. They're gonna be good at reading books. They're gonna be good at communicating through writing and oral messages. Uh, think of people that are like really good on stage, like President Obama was a really good public speaker. He probably is a verbal linguistic learner. Um, they like discussions and debates. They like to explain things, right? And they can do so well. You can understand what they're saying, right? And how does this person learn best? Saying, hearing, and seeing words. For example, if you learn best from watching this video, you're probably a verbal linguistic learner. And I recognize this video doesn't hit everybody at all, but we have to learn to use things and balances as they are, okay? The second one is logical and mathematical. Okay, our definition is it's logical. I mean, it's reasoned, precise, and accurate. Going to deal with numbers and data and stuff. These people like to conduct experiments. They like to work with numbers. They like to explore patterns and relationships. They're good at math, problem solving, and reasoning. And how does this person learn best? They work best at creating categories, classifying, working with patterns and relationships. Think like scientists, mathematicians, data analysts, stuff like that. Okay. Our next one is bodily kinesthetic, okay? So these are the people that enjoy physical activity, movement, and awareness through sensory perception. So like hearing, seeing, smelling, feeling, right? Playing outside, you gotta kind of be active a lot to like get things, maybe you fidget, do whatever, you click a pen, but it helps you kind of trigger it. That's that bodily kinesthetic. These people like to move around, touch, talk, use body language. They're usually good at sports, dancing, gymnastics, crafts. They have something else they like to keep occupied with their movement, whether it be just their hands or their whole body. Okay, and how does this learn, person learn best? By touching, moving, interacting with space, and processing knowledge through bodily sensation. So, um, you know, you might be really good at just picking up things out in sports really quickly, right? But maybe learning through lectures where you have to sit and be still and quiet isn't your best. You might be a bodily kinesthetic person, okay? Our next one is the visual spatial learners. These are the people who are good with mental images, seeing how things fit together, sight, right? You can just look at something and you kind of got it, right? So you're going to like to draw, build, design, create, think architects, right? You're daydreamers. You're imaginative. You're probably going to be good at drawing artists. Um, you love movies. You love to play computer games. And you're good at sensing changes. Like you're like, oh, man, I don't, that doesn't quite work, right? Like I said earlier, you're going to be good at puzzles and mazes and reading charts, probably like Sudoku and crossword puzzles. And how does this person learn best? By visualizing, dreaming, and using colors and pictures. So these people are going to be very thoughtful in, in before they kind of implement because they have to visualize stuff before they get going. Okay, we've got the musical rhythmic people. Oh, hang on, sorry. Probably makes sense here that they're going to be good with sound arranging patterns, tones, pitch through music, poetry, color, painting, photography, whatever the case may be. Um, you're going to be always kind of humming a tune. You love to sing. You're probably good at playing an instrument. 
good at picking up sounds, remember melody, remembering melodies, noticing pitch, rhythm, and patterns. My daughter's like this. She can hear a song and just kind of always picks up the words. I'm always really shocked by it. Um, good at keeping time, right? Because you got to be like one and two and three, especially if you play instruments and sing. Right? And how's this person learn best? Through rhythm, melody, music. Maybe you're one of those people that makes up jingles for stuff to help you learn. Whatever the case may be, you're going to be a musical rhythmic learner. Okay? Then you have the next two that are going to be, a, they sound very similar, but one is inter, uh, I-N-T-E-R, and we'll get to the next one in a second. So an interpersonal person um, is related to relationships with other people. These people have a lot of friends. They like to talk. They're, they're joined groups. They're probably very extroverted. They're good at understanding people. They're good at communicating. They're good at mediation or solving problems. And these people like a team, right? They're good at sharing with others. They're good at collaborating. And they love to teach other people, okay? The next one sounds similar, but it's different. This is intra, I-N-T-R-A, intrapersonal. This is kind of the opposite of that one, right? So you're more of within yourself, right? Um, these characteristics, you, you like to work alone, you're reflective and you're self-aware, you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses, you're instinctual, right? You have a good hunch, a good gut feeling. You're original, right? It's usually your ideas, right? And that's usually pretty unique. How does this person learn best? Working alone, individualized projects, self-paced and structure. You're going to be hitting your own goals on your deadlines um, and you're good at striving in that particular environment. Our last one is naturalistic, and that is our last slide. So this is our last one, number eight. Naturalistic, this probably makes most sense, right? Related to nature and environment, these characteristics. They like to work outside, enjoy geography, weather, learning about the environment, thinking like storm chasers or um, scientists who are going down to Antarctica. They're good at categorizing, organizing, planning, interested in preservation, preservation and conservation, right? Conserving the environment, like maybe a park ranger, likes to work with animals, zoologist. How does this person learn best? By studying nature's patterns, such as erosion and climate and learning how things work. Oh, I can't believe I made that fall off the page. What was I thinking? Let me make it a little smaller for us and I'll go back into the slideshow. Boom. All right, let me get all the way back down there so you can see it all. By studying nature's patterns, such as erosion and climate and learning how things work, cause and effects relationships like because we're polluting here it's causing this over here because we're doing this it's causing this all right so again you should fill out your graphic organizer based on all of that appreciate it